can you see the problem on this x-ray? This is the lower back, the L5-S1 disc space, and we can see that the L5 vertebral body is sliding slightly forward, maybe five or six millimeters at the L5-S1 level. The disc is collapsed, and this is what's causing the patient's lower back complaints. There's also spondylolysis that we can see that there is a fracture in the back elements of the lower back. So what is the solution to this issue? And in this case, if the patient has symptoms that are severe enough, we can proceed with a lumbar fusion. And here you can see the solution. Again, the preoperative of x-ray of the lower back, the L5-S1 level, and this is the intraoperative picture of what happens when we put this intervertebral device or the cage. We see elevation of the disc space, somewhat reduction of the spondylolisthesis, and increase in the size of the neural foramen. Here you can see that this exit zone or the neural foramen is very small and probably crushing the nerve. And here you can see elevation of that neural foramen, opening of this spondylolysis, and and elevation of the disc space that is being held in place with this cage. The next step is to go and put pedicle screws from the back. This is a transforaminal lumbar interbody fusion with one incision made from the back and the cage is put from the side of the spine into the disc space.